Uh, yeah, I just recently heard about a, a doctor who treats cancer patients with intravenous arginine. Oh, wow. Uh, and uh, just before I heard about him, I had been reading uh, way back to the 1940s, uh, people discovered that arginine <laughs> stimulates cancer growth <laughs> and that okay. starvation or reduction of arginine uh, stops cancer growth. Uh -huh. And uh, through the 50s and 60s, continuing, it's being picked up again just recently, uh, methods to stop the uh, conversion of arginine to uh, nitric oxide or to reduce the availability of arginine. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's being investigated again as a way to cure cancer. So right. uh, uh, there are these two very opposite uh, things going on. One, nitric oxide uh, is being proposed to cure cancer or uh, suppressing nitric oxide. Uh, it's demonstrated to stop the growth of cancer. And uh, the, uh, the first things that I was uh, hearing about nitric oxide, I happened to be uh, interested in endogenous uh, carbon monoxide mm -hmm. uh, in the uh, early and mid 80s, and uh, it it uh, can promote cancer by uh, blocking the respiratory enzymes. And then in the mid and late 80s, uh, people started realizing that uh, something was producing nitric oxide in the body. And uh, I think it was 88 or 89 when the enzyme was uh, demonstrated. That we actually have the enzyme that makes uh, this smog-like free radical uh, in our tissues. And because it was already known as a major toxin in smog, uh, immediately people were uh, investigating what it's really doing in the body. Mm -hmm. And uh, from about 1990 up until the middle 90s, uh, there are many publications showing that uh, very clearly nitric oxide produced in the pancreas kills the insulin-producing beta cells. Uh -huh. uh, that was just massively documented up until about 96. Then uh, the uh, Viagra people, uh, they got a patent and uh, started promoting the idea that uh, somehow nitric oxide is uh, associated with virility. And suddenly the research uh, by the late 90s uh, was turning uh, just 180 degrees <laughs> and saying everything that nitric oxide does must be wonderful because it, it is related to <laughs> male virility.